Okay, guys, this is uh, the beast inside. This is the new beta. It's one of the other chapters. Um, this is actually a little bit different than the first one we played because uh, I know it's like blur. This is, uh, I don't know what knee and tack is. That is definitely not English. Um, I would think... I would think... Okay, now it just... Okay. <laughs> It just changed. All right, that's that's a little bit weird. Okay, well, that just changed it to English somehow. Don't know why. Um, let's go ahead and increase this to 90. 90 frames would be fine. And uh, everything on Ultra. Let's go ahead and jack up the Gamma just a little bit for you guys. And sounds and everything. Eh, fuck it, I think we're good. All right, so this is the updated version. I don't know. Apparently, this is a, a chapter. There's like... I don't know, 17 chapters or something, and this is one random chapter out of the middle of the book, so... It's the middle inches. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it and see what happens. The judge tried to strangle me, and he would have succeeded if it wasn't for the man in the top hat and mask. He killed Judge Norton right in front of me. He cut his throat. It looks like he was trying to save me, but why? I heard them. Oh, it's happening again. <laughs> oh, shit. My father, my son, it is you that should have died then. <laughs> Nothing like a good case of overkill. God damn. Christ, I can't do it on my own. There's so much blood. Dear God, is this one of the guests? I don't know. Go get someone. He'll bleed to death. Press on the wound. I'll get help. The janitor is upstairs. Room 207. Where are you? Who is this? Easy. Don't try to get up. Good lord. No one will ever talk me into a mountain trip again. There he is. Looks like that missing fellow. The detective showed guests his dagger type. Detective? You mean that nosy fop Walter Gilman? Holy mother of God. I have to telegraph the sheriff. No, this man needs a doctor. Uh, I've seen wounds like this. It's only a matter of minutes. I'm sorry, son. These voices, there's so many of them. Wait, wait. I, I think I've heard this conversation before. Those people, they said that a certain detective, Walter Gilman, looked for the judge. If he was interested in missing people from the area, he might know something about my father's disappearance as well. Maybe at the reception desk I can find out his room number. Never had a complaint about how this game looked. It always looked fantastic. Oh god, no. Grab mechanics. Okay, it's fine. It's him. Judge John Norton, father's former associate. Is that possible? I've just witnessed a crime from a decade ago? I'm getting lost. Memories and delusions. All bleeding into one. The missing judge. Someone has been looking for him. Walter Gilman. Biscuits are... Watching? What? Biscuits are watching? Who the fuck? It is... Perfectly fine to be out of your mind. Just. Give into it. 
can't fucking read it. Jesus, I think a doctor wrote that shit. It was the janitor who usually kept the reception keys in room 207. Who's this fucking guy? Looks like Abe Lincoln. I bet you I could have kicked Abe Lincoln's ass. So that happened. This guy throws like a girl. Oh, now you gotta rev it up. 207 Civvy, second floor, right? What's this? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, using the mouse, place the lockpick under one of the cylinders. Move up or down to raise the cylinder. Right? When the cylinder crosses the cut line, block it quickly using the left mouse button. You need to block all the cylinders. And that is how you gem me a lock in slow motion. What is this? Pyrite lump. A lump of pyrite from my father's mine. Some call it fool's gold. But it has brought considerable wealth to Hyde and his White Land family. Man, I ain't seen Pyrite in a long time, I gotta be honest. Used to be a big thing when I was a kid. You find it in gag shops and, and uh, pawn shops and all sorts of shit. I guess we're supposed to go to room 207. I say we're supposed to go to room 207 and I completely just fuck all. I'm just like, nah, we're not going there just yet. I'm gonna goof off down here. if this is going to be one of those search everything type games. Yep, looks like it is. Oh, hey, we got a... Okay. He just had that in his pocket. Neat. I should be going to 207, but since we're here. Who the f Hello? Sir? That same damn picture. Man, that one's real popular in scary games. They love putting that one in there. Okay. Was that really necessary, sir? For nothing is secret, 
that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall be known and come abroad. You know what? Fucking hate cherubs. They creep me out, man. Look, it's Mary. Hi, Mary. How are you? Put you up here. Aw. 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 Fuck all. Hey. All right. Oh, look at this. I see you. All right. We're supposed to be going upstairs, but uh, yeah, I want to chase this guy over here that shouldn't be in the building reasons oh wow yeah let's chase the asshole that's the game we're playing chase the asshole I can unlock windows what okay Yeah, old cheapskate, a man's life ain't worth nothing to you. I ain't asked you for no $500 or $1,000. I just wanted a small sum, but you done want to give me no dime. After what happened to my husband who gave his life for your sake, I ain't leaving it like that. You got my word. Who's this? Can you fuck it? They got lots of pictures of Abe Lincoln around here. I wonder if they knew him. Okay, game. Look, there's a cleaver in there, and I want it. I ain't talking about no leave it to beaver, neither. Broken watch. Oh, this is how we get up to the second floor anyway. Thought it was back over near the other thing. Okay, that's some fuckery. I sense a disturbance in the force. Ah. Oh no, a door chain. Ah! Oh. So sharp. Maybe I could use it to cut through the chain. Well, that's convenient. Who's this fucking guy? Nice mustache. Hello?
Affleck. That one's all boarded up, yeah? Oh, look at this. Okay! What was that? Where did it try to drag me? To hell, maybe? Christ, what have I gotten into? Dude, you need to relax, man. She just, like, put you back in the lobby floor, man. You're a little uptight there, man. I, I, don't, I don't really think she was trying to take you to hell, man. I just think she's a needy bitch. Fine. Gotta love needy. Unless you want to play video games. Then they're a problem. And then that's, that's when you just... Yeah, you see, you're being too needy. I'm trying to enjoy my video game and y'all are fucking with me. This is why I still don't have a, a steady, touchy-feely. Try to play my video game. Stop bugging me with your cuddles. Hello? Why did I do that? Oh, clever. What the hell is this? Looks like a slaughter. Good God. Something's wrong here. Better grab that tool and get out of here. Well, since the blood hasn't turned black yet, I'd say this happened, oh, you know, maybe an hour ago. So, you know, hang around, get blamed for it. Stupider things have been done. Yes, they have. A magazine created for patients of psychiatric hospital. In many such places, patients cannot even dream about such amenities. They get fed pig swill and tied to their beds. Many don't survive their stay, and the ones that do are never really free men again. It should be considered great luck to ever get out of such an institution. Are we loading up on matches? A saw like this can be used to cut through all sorts of metal obstacles, such as chains or padlock. This should cut through the chain in the janitor's room. Hey. 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 Oh, no, I'm just fucking with y'all. Okay, it's fine. Hi, Mary. How are you? Bitch. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Imagine. Poor soul. He spent most of his life here, and after death, he's still the inn's janitor. But now for eternity. And the guests, from what I can see, are sure to cause trouble. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Can be used to access room 106 in the hallway leading to the second wing of the inn. Okay, this place is not very safe. 
I feel sorry for that poor wretch. He took to drinking to keep him so sane. I'm afraid I might end up like him if those ghosts don't leave me alone. Mr. Jacob keeps telling me to lay off the bottle. He says that I'm seeing things, but I swear that it's all real. I drink because I'm afraid. Sometimes uh, lurks in the forest. I've heard some inhuman screams in the trees and howling in the caves. I've seen claw marks on the bark. Mr. Jacob says, calm down, you drunkard. You'll scare away my guests. What if they should be afraid? How many people have gone to the forest and never come back? My God, I can hear things howling again. I won't find any rest tonight if I don't take a swig or two. Fuck yeah. Okay, you see, this is why we can't have nice things. Okay, sir, that is un that is uncalled for. Oh, that looks safe. I love this plan. I'm excited to be a part of it. What the hell could go wrong? I mean, this is what extension ladders are made for, right? What is this? The Walking Dead? Don't open dead inside? Looks like the janitor had a serious problem with one of the guests. That fucking weirdo wanted to blow me up. I managed to subdue the bastard and lock him up in one of the rooms. May God watch over you if you ever need to enter the B-Wing. The combination to the padlock is anger. Why come the music changed? Excuse me, sir. I'm a little bit lost. Sir, are you okay? This must be what that disturbed janitor was writing about. Ah. Uh, Looks like he died a long time ago. A long time ago? Yeah, yeah man, but uh, 
judging from his uniform, I think it was something else that, sh that got him other than the, than the garden shears. I'm just putting that out there, man. Christ, that madman not only stole a Union soldier's uniform and murdered three innocent people, but also planned an assassination of the president. Thankfully, he's dead now, but who might have killed him? John, everything went as planned. Yes, my dearest brother, we have reached the final of our hour of our masterpiece. I have managed to procure a uniform from a Union soldier and get all the way to the northern reaches of Massachusetts. On my way, I have slaughtered three traitors of our sweet land. Those, wow, okay. Uh, those inward loving bastards that spit on our flag. I must have got lost in the local woods, though, and instead of Lowell, I found myself in some backwoods. Thankfully, God has guided me to find an abandoned inn where I am making my final preparations while saying my prayers. You know what I mean. Yes, God is on our side, brother. He too wants our work to come to fruition. So the days of Abraham Lincoln and his cursed followers are numbered. I hope you have made it safely to Montreal. I trust God protects you the way he protects me. God bless the Confederacy. God bless Jefferson Davis. James W. Booth. Wow. So, the Union uniform was just a disguise. Uh, just so you know, man, Mr. M Mr. Booth didn't turn out too well, okay? Wearing the wrong boots. I've seen those boots, son. They're in the Smithsonian, and that ain't them. Well, then again, no one ever said that was Wilkes. So, okay, so never mind. There's that damn monster eating a baby again. Baby, the other white meat. These damn roots again. They seem too tough for me just to break them. I can't deal with it with my bare hands. I need some kind of sharp tool. Well, you had a saw. Holy shit. Well, we are just overrun with matches that I don't know what the use of them is for. Let's just throw this around. Hey, look, a sharp tool. Okay, I guess that's not what we need to do. That's fine. That's fine. The game doesn't recognize knives. It only recognizes special knives. Is that you, Jesus? Settle down, man. What? I couldn't just get up and walk away. Ah, oh, shit. Let me go. Help! Help! I will relieve you of your life, you Yankee bastard. You can't stop the assassination. Lincoln must pay for his lies. <laughs> Yo, uh, that cannonball, son. Okay, ha I can't see my cursor, so I don't know how it wants me to grab that. Like, I, I, it's like this little real-time minigame, but, like, I can't... I would totally understand it if I could see my cursor so I could click on those things, but you can't see your cursor. So am I just supposed to drag it around until magic happens? With it with my bare hands. I need some kind of sharp tool. Hmm. Where are those matches at? Couldn't just get up and walk away. Uh, let me go. Help! Help! 
I will rid you of your life, you Yankee bastard. You can't stop the assassination. Lick him up, papers, lies. So I don't know if it's just clicking or I gotta actually click on it. <laughs> House two. That's how we get rid of Big Ben. I and can't believe it. This isn't happening. That's how, uh, that's how he got rid of Big Ben in House 2. <laughs> that's kind of funny. I, I don't know what they're doing with this game, right? Like, like, some of it is really scary. Some of it is just kind of corny. I, I don't really know what they're doing. It's a good game. It's, I just I don't know what direction they're going. It's so weird. I mean, we definitely go. We definitely gonna be playing it. It, it. It's a good game, but it just, it's just so weird. Double check. You are supposed to check every possibility, Norton. You're a judge, and you should know how to bend the law without breaking it. The contract states you can both hand over your shares without each other's consent. I'm sorry, George, but you signed it yourself. I never thought that bastard would try to outwit me, and that his demented spawn would sneak into the mine. What do you expect? The brat cannot inherit. We have to persuade that old fart somehow, or we'll end up with nothing. Don't know why we're lighting candles. I mean, I could see pretty good without it. Maybe because I turned the gamma up. Maybe the gamma like actually really makes a difference in this game. Not really sure what the candle bit is about. I mean, like I could light this one, but I, like I don't know why. Not complaining. Lord knows a lot of these games are just too freaking dark. All I have to do is go back to the reception desk. Boric acid, baby. I don't even know if you can buy boric acid anymore. You might be able to, but like this was my go-to anytime. I, I work on a farm, guys. I mean, I, I I I work on a ranch, so like getting cut is something normal. And just throwing some boric acid on that shit, man, and drying it up, fucking no infection, no nothing, no scarring. It was it, this shit was wonderful. I mean, poisonous as fuck. If, I mean, if you eat it, you'll just knock over dead. But this was some great shit. I don't even know if they sell it anymore. I've got a big bottle of it that I've been using for years, but I don't even know if you can buy it anymore, really. My father and his partner a few days after opening their pyrite mine. 
Jacob Hyde and George Whitland. Overabundance of freaking matches. So I shouldn't say that because they might change it. And it, they're going to make it really dark and then like reduce the amount of matches and you walk around in the fucking dark all the damn time. Uh. Blackstone, New Hampshire. The sheriff issued an arrest warrant for Jacob Hyde, a mine and in a mine and end owner. Hyde is accused of murdering Judge John Norton, who badly wounded, passed away from arrival at the end. A $500 reward has been ordered. Damn, 1850? 500 bucks, that's a lot of cash. Ah, shit. Shit. Why bitches be so crazy? I need to get out of here before he gets me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeehaw! I have no idea where I was going. I just totally pulled that out of my ass. From deep within the wells of my ass. Oh, we know something's going to be right around here and go to the boo! Okay, well, they didn't do that. That's fine. Sometimes you don't have to do that. Now, what the fuck I am? What am I doing? Okay, there's something locked down here, yeah? Hey, look. A weasel. Soon before the accident, the mine, the relations between my father and his associate became very strange. George was irritable because of the stagnation of, in the business. And for some reason, he seemed to blame everything on my father or me. I might have been an insufferable brat, I can't deny that, but he kept calling me a lunatic and saw my innocent pastimes as deranged. Is it possible that he had brought a psychiatrist all the way here just to get rid of me? Or maybe it was about some other boy. Okay, that's some bullshit right there. I think we already came in here.
the fuck, man? All right, the noise is uh is good, but they gotta work on their um, um, location, right? Like, I, cause I was I was I gotta get through that door, right? So I was looking at it, and the scary stuff happened over here, so I'm not seeing it. So they need a little fine tuning. Should be a spare key somewhere. Oh, Lasers. The key for room two or three is missing. What the? Okay. How long do you stay hidden? Oh. Hmm. Think I can throw something? I guess 202 is around the corner, huh? Walked in there, I was like, What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, that was great. Quickly, I need to hide. So 
So does he actually look down that hallway? He doesn't look down and I can just crawl. He's looking down it definitely. Yeah. Oh, actually, that's not right. 202 is right here. Wait. Dude, that's 201 right there. 201 is straight across, then that means I'm right next to 202. And that's 203. It says 202 is on this wall right here. That is incorrect, sir. 202 is not on this wall. Oh, wait. There's two 202s. I guess they're connected? Okay, I see. Two 203s, too. Can I pick up anything to throw? How am I going to get through here? I think I can do this. Fuck my own ass. Oh, that's some shit. You can't jump the bed. What? Oh, my God. I'm not going to wait this long this time. Quickly, I need to hide. Need to know how much he has found out. Fucking grab mechanics, man, the worst. Oh, God. Gilman, open the door. We need to talk, just you and me. Greetings, Mr. Hyde. Got the pleasantries. I know. I don't really know why you're so upset. I really... You aren't the only hack who thought he could sniff out a scoop. But I'm not looking for a scoop. I just want to sort this out. There's something unsettling going on in this charming new corner of the world. So many people have gone missing, including your friend, Judge John Norton. I want to find him. Please. That's my sole motivation. You can shove him up your ass! You want to prove I'm responsible for his vanishing because you're just desperately looking for a story that will get you publicity. The word publicity sounds strange, coming from someone specializing in sweeping things under the rug. Two years have passed since the incident in the mine, and many things still remain unclear. People lost their lives. Many others have gone missing since, and you act like it was just a minor incident. It was an accident. A tragic accident that cost the lives of my employees 
and ruin my business. That's all. Oh, I'm afraid that's not all. Ever since then, people have gone missing in the area. Many people, even guests of this establishment. Enough! I want you out of my inn by tomorrow. something here. During the investigation on the missing judge, the detective discovered that people had been disappearing for a long time in these parts ever since the explosion at the mine. He began to suspect that the person to blame might be my father, Jacob Hive. He even visited the mine to look for clues that would con confirm his suspicions. The detective went to the mine that day. Nobody knows if he ever came back. I must retrace his steps. There may still be traces of what happened back then. The fuck? I vaguely remember the accident, but... Gunpowder barrels? Missing people? I guess I'll have to go down into the mine. Great. That's just great. Mines ain't so bad. Don't be a pussy. Actually, I have to take that back. Mines. My mines suck, dude. We have a sulfur mine up near Luling. Well, I don't have one, but people that I know have a sulfur mine. That thing sucks. That's dark. Okay. This can't be real. That's fine. Looks like my bedroom. We're okay. Okay. I must have lost my mind. A little bit. We all go a little crazy sometimes. Hello? Touch your shit. Is it only in my head? Don't worry about it, man. We haven't opened any creepy boxes yet, so the Cenobites should not be coming. We're okay. Because it's easier to push it out of the way than just go over it. Don't turn around. You turned around. Oh, wow. Look at that big tubby fuck. Beat your feet, Holmes. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, Skyrim, baby. Oh, shit. Okay, the door just opened back up. That's fine. Okay. We're fine. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
shit! Fuck! Shit, fuck! I have to run. Ah! That was just dirty. Don't ever put Visage in this game in the same sentence. Visage is a piece of shit. Like, this is actually fun. I have to run. What the fuck? I'm being chased by a giant baby. Whoa! Fucking coal cars at me. What the fuck? Is that guy behind me? Or is he just making stompy noises? Oh. He's not even behind me. Seemed all right. Nah, it's just a bunch of flickering lights and randomly clicking on shit that makes no sense. Whoa! It's happening so fast, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. I guess let's run to the end and see if we can't jump down. That middle one's gonna take me out every time, so. What if I can do this? Oh, shit. So what, it removes the bridge behind me? Oh, shit. <laughs> you can't touch that train car. It will kill you. Go to the end. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Bravo. 